back to my channel don't forget to click subscribe if you want more weekly updates on oracle advanced database administration so let's get started today we are going to discuss about uh, level 0 and level 1 backup and recovery using Arma. So basically, we're going to take level 1 and level uh, level 0 and level 1 backup. And also, in this uh, uh, video, we are going to recover and restore Oracle database in case your Oracle database got crashed or corrupted. So uh, I'm going to show you how to restore your database. This is very, very advanced tutorial on Oracle Database Administration as a DBA if you are working on, on any company. So make sure to watch this video until the end of this video because this is going to be very, very useful video for anyone who is working as Oracle DBA. So uh, as you can see, uh, recover and restore Oracle database is really, really complicated and is very uh, hard to do that. But don't worry, I will make it easy for you guys. So just listen and you will be able to restore and recover your, your database. So first, let's talk about type of backup, types of backup. We have full backup, differential backup and incremental backup. As you can see, full backup entire data sets so you take the f the backup of entire data set regardless of any previous backups or circumstances so as you can see we have the full backup right here now differential backups addition and alteration since the most recent full backup so the this was the full recent backup but differential is addition to that addition and alteration to that so this was the full backup and differential is here, 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 and here. Now, we have incremental backups, addition and alteration since the most recent incremental backups. As you can see, incremental backup, we have one, two, three here, one, two, three here, but here, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So addition and alteration since the most recent backup. So this was the most recent backup, one, two, three, one two three four this is the addition on the most recent backup and here three one two three four five so this is the addition and alteration since the most recent backup so here three the addition on that and the, uh, since that and the alteration one two three four five six so this is called incremental now here three the change is what happened after that, so we're gonna take the backup. So it's called incremental backup. Okay, so connect to Arman and take level zero backup. First, we have to take the level zero backup. So here is the script: backup incremental level zero database plus archive log. So let's take the backup of level zero. So, so this is my database. Okay, so we have to change the user to Oracle. It's your Oracle. And then, oops, we already in Oracle. Okay, let me set the environment to my database name is demo. And then, Arman, connect to Arman target. Arman is basically a recovery manager, which is only used for backup and recovery purpose. It's a very uh, strong tools for Oracle database. Okay, now this is uh, the script backup incremental level zero database plus archive log. So we have to take level zero backup. Okay. Starting the backup. Okay, come this space. Reclaim this place from. Okay, so I think I I don't have any space available on my my server, so I'm going to pause this video. So let me delete some of the old logs from the previous backup. So in order to free up some space, and then I'm going to run the same script back. So basically, if you get this kind of error when you are doing a backup. 
the med exit uh, exceeded for recovery files. So what you what you need to do is connect to Squill Plus as SysDBA, and then so we have to check uh, show parameter. Uh, uh, what was that? Recover. As you can see, the um, DB recovery file this size is 20 gigabytes, so we have to change alter as uh, system set recovery file this size to 30 gigabytes. The scope is equal to both. Now we have changed the uh, DB recovery file this size because what happened when we we were trying to take the backup so the recovery file this size didn't have enough space so that was 20 gigs so you have to change that to more value now let's go and run the same script arm and target to take the level zero backup uh, okay, where was the script backup incremental level zero backup plus archive? Okay, let me increase the form. Okay, so backup incremental level zero database plus archive lock. Let's check, hopefully, we are not getting any error. All right, so the backup level zero backup. Is completed now let's check uh, check backup summary and note the level 0 backup tag so this tag is very important because what happened this tag will be used when we are recovering and restoring the database so always we are going to restore from level 0 and level 1 backup so level 0 tag is very important so let's check list backup of database summary as you can see tay means uh, 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 lv means level so we have taken level zero level zero and and we are not talking about those uh, 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 level one right now we are talking about level zero as you can see level zero and then this is the tag all level zero uh, is has the same tag 4159 so this tag is very important. So we're going to use it to restore the database. So we have taken the level zero and this is the tag for level zero. And this is the tag. Now, once level zero is completed, creating a user and table insert record for the purpose of level zero, level one backup. So now level zero means once you created a new database, so you have to take the uh, level zero backup and now after the level zero if you do a transaction on your database let's say you you insert update or delete any operation you do on the database then we, we're going to take level one backup so let me create a user for this uh, for this demo let me exit from armor so let me connect with the SQL plus as this DBA. Okay, so let me create a user in top DBA identified by in top DBA. The password also would be in top DBA. I can't really use them. So well, uh, we are using 12C database. In 12C database, if you are creating a user always make sure to use c hash hash and so so that was the reason so i have created user c hash hash in top dba identified by in top dba now let's grant connect and resource to that table to that user to c hash hash in top dba okay that's granted now uh alter user let's uh, give default table space user qta unlimited on users so alter user 
Let me go here. C hash hash. Intel DBA. And now default table space users. And go to unlimited. Okay. Okay. Now <clears throat> let's connect with our user. Okay. Um, C hash hash intel dba and the password was in top dba oops my bad so the user is connected if you do show user oops show user is C hash hash in top DBA. In top DBA is the user. Now let's create a table. Your table test. Okay. Table is created. Let's insert some row on that table. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We have inserted one row. And then we're going to insert another one, the second row, record, okay. And now we are, we are going to insert the third record. Uh, here is something, okay. Okay, now let me insert the fourth record. Oh, there is an issue with that. Okay, so we have inserted some rows on that table. And run commit. Okay, commit completed. Now, <clears throat> backup incremental level one database plus our kernel. Connect to Armin and take level one backup. So First, we took the level zero, and now it's time to take level one backup because this is going to be the addition and alteration of the first backup, uh, the zero backup. So now we are taking the level one backup. Exit, and now connect to Armand target, <clears throat> and take the level one backup. Okay, as you can see, level one backup completed. So let's check the, the tag for level one. As you can see, uh, level, we have taken level one. So this is the tag for the level one. And we, as you can see, the first we took level zero, and then we have taken the level one. So this is the tag for that. So we, we are going to use this tag for recovering and restoring our databases. So once we have taken the level one, level zero and level one backup, so let's check where are our data file on the server. Exit from here and connect to the database. We dollar our data file. As you can see, we our data files are exist right here in this directory. Exit from here cd to the uh, to the data file path and let me list all the data file these are all our table spaces and data file name so these are all the uh the uh what do you called uh it's all the data file okay now remove data files from testing purpose this is just a test but what happened if if someone by mistake delayed all your data file or maybe your uh, your server got corrupted the data file directory by mistake someone has removed all data file so here crop database and then recover database for the test purpose let me crop the data file and then we are going to restore so let me remove everything I'm going to remove only the DBF extension, so that's the data file. I'm not going to 
uh, delete PDP seed and PDP demo. So these are all my database, the pluggable database. Okay. So I'm just deleting the data file DBF. So what I'm going to do, remove minus RF, uh, DBF, anything with the extension DBF, delete for me. Okay. So I'm going to delete the data file. Now let's check. As you can see, all the data file got corrupted and lost. So this is how uh, an accident is going to happen in your server. Data file got deleted and now database is not accessible. So right now database got corrupted. Okay, at this point, database got crashed and data file got deleted. Now let's restore and recover database. Kyushan, please don't practice this on, practice, on production database. This is demo just to learn how to recover database in case of crash. So let's recover of deleted crash database. Kill the DB instances if running. You can do shut a warp or kill pmoon at OS level. This is the command. Now, if you go to access your database, it's not accessible. As you can see, it's select uh, open. Let me see. Select status from V dollar instance. It's open, right? Select. Okay. Select open mode from we dollar database let's read right right okay <clears throat> okay so if your database is running here let's check the demo database is running so what you can do is let's say someone crashed the server kill minus nine Okay, okay minus nine, and let's check which one is the ID. We killed the record process. Okay, now I'll select open mode from we dollar database. You see. Database got corrupted and database is no longer accessible because we we deleted the data file. We killed the Oracle process because this is how the accident is going to happen to your database. Imagine like someone from the application team say, hey, you know what happened? The application doesn't work because of this error. Uh, it looks like database is not accessible. As soon as you log into the server and see, oh, data file got corrupted, someone by mistake has deleted data file, and then someone has killed the process, and now database is not accessible. What, what are you going to do at this point? <clears throat> once you have, once that happened, so let me make sure the database is not accessible. Start the DB instance and take it to the mount stage. So now let's do this. Connect to database. Okay. And then start in the no mount stage. Start no mount stage. So let's wait. Okay, the database started on no mount stage. And now here, execute the, uh, the command mentioned, the level 0 and level 1 attack to restore and recover the database. Now it's time to recover and restore the database. Okay, how? Exit from here, connect to Arman, target. Okay, here is the script. Run, restore database from tag. Okay, now we're going to take the tag from level 0, okay? 
So now let me configure this script again. Let me open Notepad. So this is the script, restore database from tag. This is going to be level zero, okay? And recover database from tag. This is going to be the tag for from uh, level level one back. Okay, as I said, this tag would be from level zero. Let's go and check the level zero tag from our backup. Uh, all the way to here. As you can see, this is a level zero. LV stands for level zero, and this is the tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. So restore, uh, restore database from level zero tag and then recover database from level one tag so this would be level one and this is the tag that we're going to use it so let me copy this and now let me okay okay run this one so we already connected to Armin and let me run this script in order to recover database uh, it says database not mounted so let me go so basically this stack was from level zero that we when we took the the backup so let me go ahead and sh show you this is level zero and this is the tag so we have used this tag for restore the database and then here recover database from tag this is the level one backup as you can see level one and I copied this to here to here so before executing this command make sure to uh, start up mount the database once you have started in mount then connect to Arman target and then let's run this query the Arman script to restore and recover our database it's, it's starting recovering and restoring the database. I will pause the video because it's gonna take some time, but I will be back. So as you can see, run, restore database from tag level zero, recover database from tag level one backup, recover database, well, alter database, open. So uh, the recovery and restoration of database has completed. So let's verify I have our database. So we restored and recover. So we restored and recovered database. As you can see, recovery completed. Re restore and recovery operation was completed here. So now what happened? Check if the database, uh, if the data files are back and restored. Do you remember that last time? we removed and and deleted some of the data file that's why database got cracked so let me go ahead and check select uh, select star my bad select uh, star from we dollar data files we dollar data file okay okay I think I would need to mention just name as well select name from we dollar data file and let me check if this data file is back and this data file let me go to that data file directory here exit cd to there and let's check yes as you can see the dba file got back we removed previously and we deleted this but it got restored back so the another way is another way is connect the user okay the another way is to connect to the user and check tables rules or recover it can be done in level one so we checked our data file are back and now let's connect to our database and see if the tables and rules that we have created are back okay now scroll plus on okay our username was c hash hash in top dba and the password was in top dba 
uh, and the table name was let's check test select star from me dollar test from test yes our data is back and so this is how you're going to take level zero backup and level one and then if something happened to your database either data file crash or or removed or your database corrupted so this is the way how you can restore and recover from level zero and level one backup thank you so much